Kia ora. Welcome to today's morning ramble. A little bright out here. Let's get the date right today. It's the uh, 9th of June. <laughs> Yesterday's video I uh, apparently lost a day, so go figure. But I left it as it was just for, you know, shits and giggles. Um, so today's Friday the 9th of June 2023. It's today's morning ramble going out into the woods. The, um, oh, just very quickly, just while I'm here. Quite bright this morning, so there's going to be a bit of sun glare. The, uh, I'm not sure if we, you can see that from there or not, but uh, probably not because there's a blinking tree in the way. Um, we, we put a shade up, just grabbed a tarp and just basically put a shade up. It's a bit makeshift at the moment. We'll be replacing it with something a little more uh, permanent, but with all the heat that, that's coming through, and uh, we don't have an awning on the on the RV that uh, suffered an accident, shall we say, and we'll leave it at that um, early in the piece. But the um, with all the temperatures being as hot as they have been, not so much today, but in the last last week or so, um, we needed that shade cloth to basically bring the temperatures down on the sunny side of the RV. You know, argument could be made that we should have just parked it in the woods, but um, you know. We cleared a home site for a reason for other things, so we will we will add to that and make that a little more gazebo-ish, dread gazebo-ish. Um, so today is uh, administration day. We've got some admin going on. Um, admin seems to have been the theme for the last uh, last X period. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in a in a previous ramble, but. Uh, my uh, green card was running out so I had the the procrastination decision as to whether I'm going to renew my green card or um, get my uh, citizenship and you know the obvious answer is run run for my uh, citizenship so put the paperwork in for that this is back in March and uh, there was some towing and throwing uh, but been, anyway basically put the paperwork in and um, got everything I needed to put the paperwork in put that in and uh, then got the your processing time is approximately 16 months message so it's like okay that's fine so what happens there is they they automatically extend your green card by two years because you're going going through the process it's the same thing if you're applying for a green card as well for a green card green card renewal as long as you do it before it actually expires it's um it's basically just just an extension oh, mosquito dive bomb me Wow, little mosquitoes are in here like uh, like to basically dive on things. Hello, that's an interesting looking mushroom. All right, um, so uh, anyway, long story short, um, the processing time didn't actually take that long. It took about a month to get my biometrics, and then uh, I was expecting that to take a while. I said ten months, and lo and behold, a few weeks later, I got the the uh, letter to say you are to go do your your naturalization exam uh, um so as i post that up on facebook uh that was a thing it was a memphis never been to memphis before uh, we've driven past it a few times and and you know around the outskirts but never really downtown memphis so that was uh that was interesting um i like the buildings and the architecture there uh for sure but the a lot of homeless there um, some interesting characters, let me just adjust this slightly, some interesting characters, um, the I'm a lawyer, I want three seconds of your time guy, um, who regaled me on one of my walks um, down to Beale. I really wanted to get to Beale Street because I like the Mark Cohn song Walking in Memphis, you know, walking with my feet ten feet off a of Beale, um, but sadly I didn't actually make it to Beale Street this time around because of all the Walking Dead that were kind of around the place, literally so drugged up that they look like zombies. It's pretty, pretty terrifying. Um, and I'm not a stranger to to the city life antics and all the rest of it, but man, that was uh, being up close and personal um, again with it was something else. But anyway, 
that was just part of the charm. So um, long story short, uh, did the interview and uh, answered all the questions correctly and now I'm just on the waiting curve for uh, my oath ceremony and that will be the end of, uh, of that, that particular process um, as a naturalised, become a naturalised American citizen. So good news on that front. So the, I mentioned today's administration day. We finally hunted down the the paperwork for uh, for the vehicles because well we've done the driver's licenses you know we're supposed to do this stuff in a timely manner I know and if anyone's watching this is an official and I apologise but we managed to bring down all the stuff and find the stuff that we brought down in boxes and things so we've got all the paperwork together now and today we're going to go off and get the get our vehicles re titled. Uh, for Tennessee so we can finally get our Tennessee plates because it's been a bit weird kind of driving around with with Ohio plates um, and I'm coming up to plate renewal time as well so again need to do do something about it but I think we have everything so wish us luck on that um, you'd think that the, the titling slash retitling process would be straightforward but um, it's more complex and you know we've got a loan on on one of the on one of the vehicles on the car the truck is freehold but the uh the car is not it's still got money owing on it so that means there's a lien on it and you've got to provide details of that and blah 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 blah. so the list goes on the administration list goes on but i think once we get this done and i think other than the oath ceremony i think we're pretty much good for for um paperwork and administration for a while at least until we get to the point of selling the house and we have to go through all that all that palaver up in Ohio so that is today today's ramble is administration administration hell I'm accompanied by dogs They're excitable oh they found the scent of something we woke up this morning. Oh, the dogs were barking last night. I had them out. I've had them outside um, during the really hot weather. It's been good just to have them out out in the in the run, where it's a little cooler for them rather than having to deal with with the inside temperatures, which you now unfortunately are still, you know, up a little bit at night. Sorry, I got dive bombing mosquitoes attacking. I must taste particularly delicious today. Um, the uh, so anyway, the birds have been, been putting themselves to bed, as chickens and, and what have you do, which is great. Um, but the dogs were barking last night and we couldn't see what it was. They barked for a bit and then eventually they, they settled down. We figured it must have just been something up in the brush and you know, Dawn and I both, both went out on separate occasions and couldn't, couldn't find anything. So uh, the uh, um, woke up this morning uh sound of our rooster going off our rooster decides celestial twilight is actually the perfect time and if you're familiar with you know celestial you go daylight savings time or you go uh, sorry you, you go dawn and and, and uh, dusk and then you've got uh, nautical which is usually about 25 to 30 minutes kind of roughly and then you've got uh, celestial which is uh, another 20 odd minutes or so again before and or after that so with uh, dawn here being about 5 uh, 30 at the moment and, and nautical being about 10 past 5 celestial needless to say is about 4 40 in the morning so uh, our peckerhead rooster has uh, decided that celestial is his favorite time in the morning so got that that wake up call um, that's all fine and good and uh, I was going to call him humpy because he started humping some of the birds already humpy short for humperdink or humperdink short for humpy but uh dawn didn't get the joke so uh we've decided to call our our rooster russell russell crow um then i'll leave it at that uh but anyway uh woke up this morning got out of bed to do the to do the fowl and um let them out and noticed that there was one of the guineas outside the coop so that's probably what the dogs were barking at she's uh she's our white tail guinea fowl she was a little scraggly growing up 
um, there's a point there where we didn't, you know, we weren't sure that she was actually going to make it because she was pretty, pretty small, but she's really, really grown, really, very, very pretty. But, you know, guinea fowl, thick as planks, they just really are not the smartest birds. Uh, funny as all get out, but man, they're just, uh, mm. anyway, for those of you who have guinea fowl, you, you'll understand what I mean. So she's outside the cage wanting to get in, and then there's this whole uh, da, 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 you know, kind of Benny Hill type chase thing, trying to get this, this guinea fowl in with the others without letting the others out this early in the morning. So that was that was the start of the day. Anyway, I'll leave this at that. This is just a another administrative catch-up ramble. I hope you're all having a great Friday, and uh, we'll chat again soon. Take care. Ciao.